Hello everyone, welcome to Epson service training class. I'm a service engineer at Epson. This class is to bring you to a, a demonstration of repairing the 1010 pixels on the CR 1.5 product. The repair tools include heat gun, solder wire, solder paste, tweezers, marker, micro carving knife, anti-static bracelet, mark the bad pixel before repairing, use micro carving knife to push the bad pixel towards forward gently, okay this pixel is removed now, use our soldering iron and soldering wire to clean the pad. Retain a certain amount of rosin on the pad. After cleaning the pad, use tweezers to dip some solder paste. Fuse the solder paste to the PCB. The reason to use solder paste is because the melting point of solder paste is very low and it has better activity than solder wire. It's easier to ensure subsequent welding. At this moment, our PCB pad processing is done. Pick up a new pixel. Note, while putting the new pixels, we need to ensure the direction of the new pixels is consistent with the surrounding pixels. The use, the air, then the use of the air gun to weld it from front. When speed of heat gun need to be adjusted to be minimum. The temperature should be controlled within 280 Celsius degree. Then blow in front. When we use tweezers to move the pixel, it moves back automatically. The welding is now completed. After five minutes of cooling, we can test the module if there is a bad pixel or lack of color or other issues reweld will be needed if red green blue white an oblique scanning is normal then we are good with the repair the demonstrations of the 1515 pixel replacements method is now completed hope these tips were clear for you